Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making beef stew. This is a classic version. We're going to start out by putting this on the stove top and then we're going to transfer everything into a crock pot because nothing cooks better than a slow cooker when it comes to slow cooking. This is going to be great. So if you're interested and you want to see how I make this, stick around because I'm going to show you how. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna use a chuck roast and I'm gonna be dicing this into small chunks. I'm using about three pounds. This one has beautiful marbling. You do wanna to try to cut off any extra fat on it, uh, but I'm very excited. This is a beautiful cut of meat here and um, we're gonna be using three pounds. We're also gonna be using about three tablespoons of oil, four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, we're also going to be using half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of paprika. One tablespoon of dried parsley. I'm going to be using two bay leaves and four garlic cloves that I've minced. One beef bouillon cube. One package of McCormick beef stew. Um, I like this kind. It has no artificial flavors and you don't have to use this, but I highly recommend it. It's really good. I use this several times. so. Don't skip out on that if you can get a hold of that. Um, we're also going to be using one medium onion that I've diced up, four carrots that I've chopped up. We're also gonna be using four celery stalks, and I also cut up some of the leaves from the celery. That gives it really good flavor. So um, we're also gonna be using two large russet potatoes. I've cubed them up, and I placed them in water so they don't brown. Okay, and then we're also going to be using one cup of frozen peas. We'll throw these in at the very end of the cooking process. So um, I'm going to put those in the refrigerator or the freezer, I should say. And we're going to be using three cups of water as well. So this is everything we're going to use. So let's go ahead and get started on making our beef stew. Okay, so I'm going to pat all my meat dry. Okay, so now that our meat is all dry, let me throw this away. I'm going to go in with our seasonings. That's the salt, the paprika, and the black pepper. Give it a good mix. We're gonna add in our flour. Okay, that's the four tablespoons of the flour. I'm gonna go in with half of it. Mix that around. Then sprinkle in the rest of it. And mix it around. I should've used a bowl, but I didn't have a clean large bowl. So I used a large plate instead. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that this is evenly distributed. Make sure all of our beef is coated. Okay, and once we have our, ne our meat nicely coated, just like this, I'm going to go wash my hands, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a very hot skillet here. I'm going to go in with some of our oil. It's very hot, as you can see it is smoky hot. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in some of this meat that we're going to sear. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit and we're not gonna touch it uh, for about a minute. Okay, so this has been about a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping these over. to see if there's a good piece, see? When it's seared like that. I'm gonna flip these guys over so it could sear on the other side. Okay, so this has been another minute and as you can see, very good. We're good to go. This does not need to cook all the way. We just need to get that 
seared look on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this out into my crock pot. Okay, we're gonna be doing this in the crock pot. Very hot. The rest of that oil, and I'm gonna dump in the rest of our pieces. Okay, and we're gonna let this sear as well. Fantastic. I'm excited. Okay, as you can see, we've developed a fond here on our pot. And we're going to release that. We're going to pick up all of this beautiful fond that you see. I'm going to add in about another tablespoon of oil. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in our onion. I'm going to pick up everything that fell into this, that's stuck on this pan here, with this beautiful onion. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in the carrot and the celery, all of it. Let's go ahead and get it all in there. And we're not going to cook this through. We're just trying to pick up all of those flavors down at the bottom. I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of butter for extra flavor and it's going to help our um, gravy develop this nice sh shiny look. Continue cooking for another two to three minutes. Okay, so this has been cooking here for about three minutes. Um, as you can see, there's been time for the onion to start to sweat, and that sweat has helped to pick up all those pieces down here below. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our garlic. And we're going to let this cook for another minute. I'm going to take our beef bouillon cube and I'm going to crumble it in. And we're going to give this a good mix as well. Cook this for like another minute or two. Okay, so after about a minute of that cooking through, I'm going to come in with our water. This is the three cups of water that I had from earlier. And I'm only going to put in about a cup of that water into this. And that's just to make sure we pick everything up from in here. Okay. Once it looks like this, we are ready to transfer all of this into our, into our pot. Until Here we go. And we're going to transfer all of that right in there. Make sure you get everything. We're also not going to jump in those potatoes from earlier. Don't forget to drain the water from those potatoes. Let's go ahead and put this in there. And we're going to add the rest of those three cups of water. Go ahead and pour it all in there. this up add some of this parsley and I'm gonna reserve some uh, when it's done okay don't even need to get that worked in we're just gonna leave it just like that I go ahead and throw in this two bay leaves and don't worry if it doesn't look like uh, it's not enough water because the beef is gonna release some more juices so it's gonna be all good go ahead and cover this we're gonna set this 
on a low and we're gonna cook this for about six to eight hours. So we'll be back. All right guys, this has been cooking now for six hours. I'm gonna open this lid up. Now I never once opened this, I left this alone. So we're opening this up together. Oh man, that looks so good. Yep, delicious. Now at this point, we can take out these bay leaves. They've served their purpose. I had them in the freezer and we're just gonna dump these in now. Give it a good mix. And we're just gonna let this sit in here for an additional 30 minutes and then we're ready to eat. God, this looks so good. Look at that. Yum. Okay, so we're going to recover our crock pot and we're gonna let this go on high. I'm gonna move this over to high for an additional 30 minutes. Okay, and just like that, it is done. We are ready to serve. Okay, you don't wanna mix it up too much because you don't want the veg to start breaking apart here. But look at that, guys. Oh yeah, do you guys see that? Look at that. You guys see that? It's really tender, look at that. Okay, almost forgot that reserved parsley that's gonna go in now. I add some at the very end just so it could keep some of that color. You guys see that? It looks so good. Let's go ahead and get this plated. Okay, so our beef stew cooked a total about six and a half hours in the crock pot. Um, once you get everything seared and, and cooked in, on the stove top, then you could just set it and forget it. You know, go about and do your thing. And when you get back, this will be waiting for you. It's so good. Can't wait to try it. Okay, we have this here ready to go. And I've got a very special little friend here with me today. This is my daughter. She wants to give this a try too. Well, let me go ahead and get your spoon. This is very hot, okay? I'm gonna blow it for you. Okay, you wanna hold that? It's very hot. I'll come around this way and we'll try it together, okay? Yes. Ready? Is it still hot? Careful. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Is that soft meat? It's tender, right? You like it? Mm -hmm. It's so good. You want some more? Mm-hmm. Little pee? Mm-hmm. Okay. Very hot. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for checking out my video. Um, I hope you try this recipe. I hope you like it. And if you do try it out, please comment down below and let us know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, also, if you, have, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and if you have subscribed, don't forget to hit that little bell icon. Um, to That way that it'll send you notifications. That way you guys don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you later. Bye.